but we're going to go ahead and get the tune going on our 2018 GT. Unbox our BDX. Our device. And we need to grab the OBD2 cable out of the box. You need to find your OBD2 port, which is right under the driver's side kick panel all the way to the left by the hood release. This plug will only plug in one way. Go and get that in there. Once the device is powered up, go ahead and go to Program Vehicle. It'll ask you to turn the key on. On this vehicle, you do this by pressing the Start button without the clutch or the brake pedal depressed. It'll tell you that the internet is required, so we'll have to hook this up to either your Wi-Fi or your mobile hotspot. In this video, we're going to actually use our mobile hotspot from our cell phone. So it'll scan for the Wi-Fi networks. And it'll give you available. So you would select your network and then link it just like you would a cell phone or a tablet or any other device like that. Um, our hotspot is right there. I'm going to select that. It's going to ask for your passcode, so go and enter your security key. successfully connected to our hotspot. So this particular vehicle has got nine files it's going to pull down. So it's only going to download the, the files it needs for your specific vehicle. Once the updates are complete, get back to your main screen. Alright, well we don't need to do the cloud sync because this isn't going to be a custom tune file, so we're going to skip this step. Go ahead and select continue on the street use notice, not legal in California. Okay, at the program vehicle screen we're going to select the 5.0 Mustang. Confirm to pair it. Additional tune options. All right, so we need to go into this menu to change some of the options for the add the JLT intake and choose your octane of fuel. So we're gonna go to change. Then we need to change the options. So we have 93 octane here, so we'll select 93. Intake air box. We want to select the JLT plastic. And press the right arrow to go to approve. It'll confirm, hit continue. So it's going to save the stock file from the device and then flash on our tune. It'll take a couple minutes. Once the tune is done loading, it'll tell you to turn the key off, which is just pressing the power button. 
and then to turn it back on. Again, do not start the car. Programming complete. We go and turn the key off. I press the power button again. Hit done. And you are ready to start your car. Let's fire her up.